Okay, so far so good. Now almost there. Now we will from this enter lab data. This is the main thing, regression. The regression is the penultimate step of the characterization process in which the EOS is fine-tuned to the laboratory experiments. The fine-tuning is performed by adjusting critical properties, volume shift, and binary interaction coefficients such that the difference between the reported and calculated parameters are minimized. Open, objective. So the, job, so the objectives for the regression are to match the liquid density, to match the GOR, to match the saturation pressure, and to reproduce laboratory experiments. The overall objective for the regression state is to not only reproduce the liquid density and GOR, but also to tune the EOS such that the saturation pressure at reference conditions and the remaining data generated during the lab experiments, such as CCE, differential liberation, and separator experiment can be reproduced. The current EOS already gives us gives a relatively close match on the liquid density, GOR, and saturation pressure. However, the liquid density at reservoir conditions is currently not being produced and requires further refining. Okay, so this is the strategy. Okay. to strategy to achieve the objectives above the pseudo properties it has the critical temperature critical pressure and binary interaction coefficients and the volume shift will be adjusted to minimize the error between the lab and calculated data however since the regression is merely a mathematical tool it is important to first develop a regression strategy to avoid performing conflicting regressions like undoing already made progress and to quality check the results after each regression step to prevent unnatural property trends being accepted. A regression strategy could be developed as follows. First, to create a list of the current objective and rank them in order of declining importance. And second, consider what pseudo properties affect each of the objectives and by how much. Like how does objective X change by changing Y? And third, consider how changing the selected properties for regression affect the ob other ob objectives. And the fourth, consider which parameters would be more difficult to readjust at a later stage and thus decide on a suitable anchor point. However, before we start considering the above, we should take a moment to gain an overview of how, how well the current state of EOS reproduces the lab experiments taking the lab experiments in turn. Okay. So let's do the regression. First with the CCE. The CCE experiment calculation can be assessed via calculation, constant composition expansion, or by pressing this tool in the taskbar. In the window that opens, specify the temperature and pressure range over which the simulation is to be performed and press calculate to progress CCE calculation screen. Okay, let's let's dig in. Okay. All right, now maybe I will save. I will call it before regression. Okay, now let's do the regression. Calculation, constant composition expansion. Okay, well stream. Okay, we will set this temperature to be 185. The same temperature, pressure from 200 to 400. Number of values, one, this to be 200. and then calculate. Calculate, voila. Calculation is completed. And then, 
All right. Okay. So for the CCE, we are only interested in the oil density. This one is liquid dropout. I want the oil density. Okay. I want the viscosity. Okay, so this is the current condition. Density. Okay, so I should go back to my okay, cancel, cancel. I need to check the data, enter lab data, CCE what happened, oil. I have the oil density. I have the oil density data. Okay, so again, okay, calculation. Wait, calculation. Okay, so this what happened. Okay, so actually they don't match. This is for the oil density and also for the oil viscosity. Okay, okay. If additional data such as GOR had been provided in the lab report, then the same separator train as used in the experiment would need be to be specified. This is because the GOR is path dependent and thus using a different separator train will result in different GOR to be calculated. Okay, in the window that opens after pressing calculate and then we wait until the simulation is completed. When the simulation is completed, we, we show the plot and yeah, we can see that the current prediction and the data don't match. All right, so far so good. So so it is what it is. Again, if you want to check the analysis. Okay. So from here, we can click main and then calculation. Okay, we differential liberation. Okay, again here we input the temperature of 185. The stream is well stream. Now for the differential liberation, I provide the data. This one. Oh, it is in PSIG, so should be this. Okay, again, calculate, calculate. So 
for this one let's see plot 